Yeah, hi people, Megan of course is always under as usual. Yeah, it's Koicha time again. I'll be covering the 57th spirit. The 57th spirit is Ose, uh, Oso, Ose or Voso, or you can pronounce his name more tribal, Os, Oso, Ose or Voso. He is a great president and appeared like a leopard at the first, but after a little time he put it on the shape of a man. His office is to make one cunning in the liberal sciences and to give true answers of divine and secret things. Also to change a man into any shape that the exorcist please it, so that he is so changed will not think any other thing than that he is in verity that creature or thing that he is that he is changed into. He governed the three, uh, three legions of spirits, etc., etc. The, the three most likely story based on an editorial here, an editorial footnote. Um, so yeah, uh, let's start. Now, information and attributes. Uh, Ose is Jupiterian. Not a surprise that today is Thursday for me, at least. It's, it's still Thursday. Uh, he corresponds to the zodiac sign Pisces. Um, and yeah, that's just it. A considerable, tremendous amount of Piscean energy. So Jupiterian in nature, like I said. Uh, as for the, his description and in terms of his specialties, to make one cunning in the liberal sciences and to give true answers of divine and secret things. No, that's not true. At absolute, absolute best, it's minimal. So no, just plain no. Um, and to change a man, essentially to, to make someone delusional to the point where they think that they're an animal. Or to make someone, yeah, just that, you know. Or to make someone, uh, to put someone in such an alternate state of mind constructively that they think that they're an animal. So essentially mental shape-shifting. Um, no, also not the case, honestly. Similar, it's, it's minimal at best. Uh, what Ose, Oso or Voso does specialize in, in terms of skill set and specialty, he has no specialty really. The closest thing that comes to a specialty would be knowledge of terrestrial things that are hidden or obscured from view. Uh, at first glance or otherwise um, an extreme example is treasure but um, more common is things that uh, are more of practical value think of animals that are easily that are animals that aren't easily detectable or detected um, or wildlife flora and fauna that cannot easily be found that's what it boils down to um, but the rest, Ose, Oso, or Voso, um, he deals with um, just plain things of a Piscean nature. Uh, think of things rel relating to clairvoyance and whatnot. But even that is at a very basic level, honestly. Um, also at a negative level, he aids thieves and, and those that prefer to be hidden, usually for the wrong reasons and whatnot. I'll explain in a second because I see where they got all of this stuff from. Um, the research already indicates why, um, where they got the liberal sciences and the true answers of divine and secret things from. Uh, uh, I repeat, the true answers of divine and secret things from. No, that is, um, that's dismissive. I saw where they got that from in my research, but no, it's, um, it's an exaggeration and a gross exaggeration at that, to say the least, you know, like giving like saying that someone that's a 1 is a, a 10. No. Or a 9 at least. No. No. As for... Um, as, as for... The aforementioned like changing someone's state of mind to the point where they think that they're an animal. I also saw where they got that from. Um, but... Um, I'll explain in a second. Now, in any case... Uh, Ose is uh, a pagan god, unsurprisingly. I could already sense it coming. And specifically an African pagan god. He um, stems from tribes in Central Africa, specifically Cameroon and also Senegal, but uh, Cameroon uh, primarily. And he wasn't part of the tribe that created him and worshipped him. He wasn't part of, or the tribes that created and worshipped him. He was, uh, he was a bastardized pagan god, essentially, or a bastardized thought form, in the sense that he, was, he wasn't part of their main pantheon. No offense meant to him, obviously. He was essentially obscured. 
um, anything but the only spirit in the Goetia that is of such a nature, in the sense that he's a thought form and that he's obscured. Uh, people that follow me have noticed that. Yeah, the Goetia has more than a few of these kind of guys. The Goetia is laced with more than a few of these kind of guys. And um, <coughs> his appearance is that of an African looking like Zulu tribal warrior, but with the head of a leopard. But in an, it kind of in kind of like an inanimate way by inanimate i mean that it looks more like a guy wearing a leopard mask somewhat rather than it being like a genuine creature that has like the actual head of a leopard and the body of a, a human being um in human form he looks just like the guys that worshipped him a typical trap African headhunter tribal looking individual, an indigenous uh, pygmy looking guy, wearing only a loincloth and holding a spear and other minor trinkets reminiscent of their culture. Um, and I also, when I took a look at everything, I also saw that, I also saw how people essentially, how they work like in tribes and whatnot. I saw like typical tribal people living in huts and whatnot. And, I saw like a guy, for example, calling in Oso, Oso's name by holding like a, a leopard's teeth or some, a leopard's tooth or something like a trinket um, for specifically helping during hunts, like I said, uncovering wild animals to, that cease to win an, a successful hunt, you know, because uh, finding an animal's burrow, for example, or find, by default, most animals in the jungle are like clandestine, like you will not easily find them. They make themselves scarce the second they see the first sign of trouble or anything relating to that. So this definitely helped. And I also saw one of those same guys in a hut silently asking also for, uh, for, for to keep something hidden, something bad that he did, for example, or something that either bad or that wasn't necessarily bad but that went against the customs of his tribe and whatnot essentially hiding dirty laundry <laughs> let's just put it that way <laughs> contextual dirty laundry oh let me see if there is anything else um, um, hold on oh yeah <coughs> if you're wondering how it made its way into the goetia considering the the geography i want to say you know since the majority of spirits from the Goetia and the Goetia itself, I think, in, in sources, as far as I recall, uh, is still a considerable distance away from like the heart of Africa, Central Africa. So I saw that as well in my visions that um, they travelers that specifically Muslim or Arabic chroniclers, chroniclers mainly, that traveled into Africa and whatnot, into the heart of Africa, uh, from North Africa out, obviously, the Maghreb they um you know they they sold uh, the i mean the, the the people that knew Ose or also or voso they they just sold the information you know like the goetia typical 101 i already explained it in my evaluation of the goetia that they um they sold to these guys the information and then those guys brought it back to north africa and from north africa it's made its way through um, through the mediterranean to the rest of the world like including europe and whatnot and that is all. Bye-bye.